inside and fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but in the know from the first time, the first time I've seen you. Hey sweet, so welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tembeka Hasi and I am Elitri's mom. So today we going out. I don't have electricity guys. Apparently something it will mess somewhere. So yeah, I have no choice but to improvise because I've got work. So Lambona, they got more as pretty guys giving ghetto, I know, but this is me. Um I'm gonna head out now. Go to spur, grab a cappuccino, guys. Cappuccino, yeah, go spur is giving everything. But I realized actually they put that cream mugi so that it fills up the cup. So I want that cappuccino without the cream. So as I was staying before my gimbal decided to sleep, I don't know why it's sleeping because it's on uh, recording mode. But I'm still learning this thing, guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys a proper review on it. Right now, I'm, I'm, like, I feel like I regret a bit, you know, buying this gimbal. But again, I think the advantage would be for vlogging outside and stuff. But I don't know. Sometimes it sleeps for no reason. So it means Kitlo Misa very important, you know, moments that I want to include in my vlog. But anyway, um, let's give it time. I don't want to rush and make a conclusion on it. It's not worth it. But like what? Look. It's sleeping now. I don't know why it's sleeping. This is literally what I go through when I have to use this gimbal. But anyway, I don't want to be negative. I want to give it time. So we're going to head out now, eat, work, and then come back home. And then I want to film a video. Remember that things to consider... Uh, before you have a baby in 2024 that video i want to film it today because Ellie is not here which means i can film in peace so i'm going to work quickly plan that content and then film that content and then tomorrow we're going to work so tomorrow is wednesday wednesday and thursday i'll be in the office um yeah i literally have no choice but I'll be in the office, which is great. I haven't seen my colleagues in quite a while, so I need to look good, guys. Makeup and all of that. I'll show you guys my outfit in the morning before I leave. I don't think I'm going to vlog when I get there. I'm honestly not comfortable vlogging, go office. Honestly, no one knows I have a YouTube channel, which is great. Um, Yeah, unless someone Googles me and finds my channel. So I don't vlog when I'm in the office, but I want to give you guys. So let's head out now. Let me do a quick OOTD before we leave. It's a simple fit. This is me, guys. I buy basic clothing for a reason. I feel I don't go out a lot. So there isn't really a point for me to like buy the apparel fancy. So quick OOTD. I had to literally detach this gimbal. I don't know. It's giving drama. Um, so I'm wearing this hat from town. And then shirt from Moody's. It's a basic t-shirt. Comes in multiple colors. I love these guys. And then jeans are from Refinery. And I'm wearing my white pixels. I know they're pretty dirty. But I didn't have time to clean shoes. I hate clean, uh, dirty shoes by the way. But they're not too bad. Hey, They're not bad. So let's head out guys. Um, I'll see you for spur.
have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. stuff like that i don't use all of that i just love looking natural simple like that adios i'm gonna go shoot my video the video that's gonna come before this vlog hi everyone my name is tambeka hasi and i am elitu's mom i have a toddler a one year old two months toddler <laughs> lost my hairline so for those who don't know i've got a very full hairline um so i installed that frontal the one the bob 
that I installed during that um, reading the Lower La Celebration vlog. And then when I took it off, they used, what's that glue called? Ghost Bond, yes, that glue. So they used that glue. And then I took off the frontal and um, some of the glue was stuck on my hairline. So I didn't wash my hair immediately because my cornrows were fresh. So I stayed with my cornrows, I think for a week. And then I decided to relax my hair. So when I relaxed my hair, my hairline came out, guys. My hairline came out, so I was so hurt about the whole thing because I've never, ever had a hairline that's struggling. I've never struggled with my hairline. So I know it's going to grow back. I'm not like too stressed about it, but it's a matter of right now, where is my hairline? So, yeah. So I used relaxer, so dark and lovely to be specific. Um, I don't know if it's the relaxer product mixed with i don't know the glue then my hairline just lifted just like that but anyway i think the main purpose of me speaking about this is please don't be like me the moment you take off your frontal uh and you've got glue in your hair wash your hair don't put relaxer on it because you'll regret it yeah so but anyway i'm recovering i don't know i'll be fine at some point luckily i can hide it right now but i just want to show you guys how my line looks so i'm just gonna take this off so this is how it looks let me just brush it like that let me just adjust my mirror like that yeah so this is how my hairline looks not too bad but it's bad because i know i shouldn't be having patches like this but anyway i can hide it like i said so right now i'm just using this oil amla oil this is literally my favorite oil i use this and easy ways um it doesn't have a sticker it lets you took it out this is the easy ways hair food it's from the kids section or i don't know it's a kids hair food basically so i use that just I apply all of that on my head so these are the two products that I use besides obviously the protein treatments or um, what's that other treatment moisture treatments I use so I will show you guys as time goes what other products I use on my hair but these two are specific ones I use so every time I get my hair washed, relaxed, or anything like that, I'd make sure they spray this heat defense spray on my hair. Um, yeah, I love my hair like that. So, I use those two products, nothing else, um, for like everyday purposes. But of course, I've got other things that I apply, but you guys will find out as time goes. I just wanna. I washed my hair and it looks like I relaxed it. That's an advantage of having a very soft hair texture. So, I love using this, this brush. So, the one thing I like most the bristles are plastic, so it doesn't break my hair. This is the Denman brush. The same brush I used um, for my natural hair. So to avoid hair breakage, I use this brush. So I'm gonna show you how my hair looks or how long my hair actually is. But for now, let's just open a line, see if we can do something.
like I said, I can literally hide that I have hairline issues right now. I actually want to soak off these nails. I think it's time for me to remove them and get a new set. But the issue is, I'm not finding time to go do my nails. So I just want to show you how my hair looks. Let me see from the back. I'm going to turn with this. Chair. So this is how long my hair is. So I love cutting my hair. When I say cutting my hair, I'm speaking about cutting split ends. So I make sure when I see that my hair has split ends, they get cut. That way the split ends don't break, you know, the new grown hair or my healthy hair basically. So this is how long my hair looks right now. It's giving, it's giving luxury. <laughs> anyway, this is me. Really just talking about so those are the vibes guys those are the vibes that's me and my hair i love keeping my hair natural um but that's something i'm working on um i'm exploring wigs now so i would wear wigs previously but then i stopped and then now frontals were introduced so i don't know i don't think i'm a big fan of frontals after what happened to my hairline um but obviously i'm just talking right now i might like install a frontal at some point but for now i am good thank you so i want to show y'all um the stuff i bought for my wig journey so specifically my wig starter kit so got this trays and heat defense i have got to be glue and then I've got this fast drying mega extra mega hold spray. So this one I got from Dragon City. And then everything else is from Clicks and Clicks and Diskim. Wax stick, I got this at um Dragon City. And then I bought these from click so this is the split end repair serum and silicone serum and then i'm applying some on my hair then i bought glue so this lace glue remover and lace frontal glue from obviously the same hair um got these from this chem so obviously i'm gonna paste my my wig and then remove it using this so my sister has tried this out it actually works um but honestly after my hairline situation i'm scared then i got the usual just tresemme shampoos so i've got a conditioner and a shampoo i'm still finishing off this one so but i bought a full one because you know clicks off as a special so i just took two yeah so that's what i use for or that's my wig care my wig starter kit um i bought what's that thing called a hot comb it's not that hot guys it's not giving hot i got it from dragon city but i saw miss xo spoke about um a hot comb that she bought from this i saw it it's literally 300 rand so i'm gonna go get that um hot comb because remember like i said i'm trying to get into wigs now i'm just tired of being like natural all the time um yeah so here and there i need to look good so i'm going to purchase that um hot comb and then but i think the plan going forward i'm gonna get closure wigs i'm gonna get closure wigs more so for work like i don't have time to get ready in the morning guys i wake up at five bath um dress up dress up and leave that's me so i don't even find time to like pack a lunch box or something i'm just like always tired 
like from the night before like raising a toddler is not easy so i'm going to try and work on i don't know creating some kind of routine that way i can eat healthy food and i can stop buying takeaways because i'm trying to lose my mommy pooch so i'm looking i've been looking on youtube to find exercises but then again i know i'm supposed to stop drinking um coke and what else there's two things like oh takeaways and coke those two i need to like stop so i'm gonna go back to my my routine foods veggies all of that that used to be me especially when i was pregnant i used to make sure i eat like healthy food um but of course i had a steers problem i had a steers problem but i made sure i balanced everything so i want to go back to that life where i eat healthy food so i can lose this mummy pooch because honestly it's making me i don't know so uncomfortable like right now i don't buy dresses that are like body hugging because it's gonna show so i need to find a way to deal with that so that's my one of my goals for this year we'll see how everything pans out i don't want to put like a lot of pressure on myself but at the same time i need to make sure i start working on this so that's it guys i'll see you in the next vlog i love you guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe um and tell your friends about my channel my name is tamika Kazi, and i am a mom signing out peace